So here we are going to program a hold for the VACAY waypoint. So what you have to do is click on it, click on hold, and this it'll, it'll give you a standard um, hold that you can do at this waypoint. So your inbound course is 346, which is your inbound course right here. You can see that here. Um, you'll be doing a right hold. So it'll be turning right and then holding you in a in kind of an oval shape here, right? And then there's time and distance. So distance means how long do you want the hold to be, right? In, in terms of the longitudinal distance of how long you want the hold to be. So if you're okay with all of this, um, you can hit insert and that will add a right hold pattern to your waypoint. Now remember that if this is not your active waypoint, as in this is not the immediate waypoint that you're traveling at, it is going to just put in a, a white arrow in the direction of your turn. But then when it becomes the active waypoint, it will actually draw this flight path for you. So as an example, let me plan a hold for the waypoint that is after uh, VACAY, which is STYMY. So you click on that waypoint, hold. I don't want to complicate things. I'll go for a simple hold and then I'll hit insert. So what this will do is create a white arrow in the direction of where your holding pattern is going to be. And when STYMY becomes the active waypoint after we cross VK, it is going to draw the flight path for us on the navigation display. So that's how simple holds work. Now I'm going to demonstrate how it draws the flight path if you have to enter the holding pattern from a different radial. So I'll leave a illustration somewhere on how the holding patterns work and how they're calculated. I'll also leave a link down below on how, how that all of that works. But just to show you guys that it is all implemented right here in the beloved freeware FBWA320. Before we had planned a simple hold where the inbound course was 346. Now let's plan a hold where let's say the air traffic controller tells you that your inbound course needs to be um, 250. So that is 90 degree from our flight path. All right. So that'll be 250 and you enter it in the inbound course. When, when it says revert to computed, it means that it'll go back to the default, whatever you had. Right. So if I click on revert to computer, it will go back to the 346 parallel hold that um, that the FMC already calculated for us. But we want it to hold in a different direction, ho hold from a different inbound uh, radial because air traffic controller has told us to do so. Now, time and distance will remain the same. I don't want to increase the holding distance as in I don't want to increase the elongation of the hold. So I leave that the same and then I'll hit insert. Now, if you look at our flight plan and uh, zoom in, it will show you how it enters the hold and then it will keep going around at WACO in this holding pattern. So now you'll see that this holding pattern um, is exactly 90 so the entry to this holding pattern is exactly 90 degrees from our current um, our current course so that's how you can also do different inbound radial holding patterns as well and this feature was only added I think yesterday in, uh, to, to the FBW A320 so yeah I, I think I think it's a phenomenal work by them and uh, Thanks to them for providing us with such an amazing freeware aircraft. I have never seen a freeware aircraft uh, with this high detailed systems before on any simulator, honestly. Thank you guys for all the love on these recent videos. I've been receiving a lot of views, a lot of subscribers, a lot of likes on these videos. And thank you. Thank you to each and every one of you for hitting that like button and also the subscribe button. Please do so and check out the other videos on my channel as well. You might find a lot of them interesting. Thank you again for watching and tuning in and I'll see you on the next one.